Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a disassembly to do for you. So again, I apologize for the lighting. It's actually dark out now, and this is all I got. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to disassemble this guy in the dark in the uh, office. And because uh, I'm moving, I just don't have lighting out, and it's a whole thing. I have the get good screw. Son of a glitch driver right here. Very cool. Very uh, grateful they sent this out to me. So check out uh, Get Good Screws, the Schmedium size. So we got a T8 here. That should be all we need. We do have a spinning uh, barrel on the pivot. So we're going to use the Skiff finger bit. You can check this out at Skiff Made Blade. There's a link down in the description. Use code LEFTYEDC for 10% off. You can use LEFTY10 for 10% off at Get Good Screw. Uh, and then we have KPL products here as well with us. And you can use Lefty10 at KnifePivotLube.com. I got the full gamut covered here. We're also going to rock some uh, skiff bearings in our handy Tinker Force uh, tin and Tinker Force tray. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess they're going to be 5 mil 1 16th, but we'll see. I'm just going to get those ready right here. And uh, here we go. Let's see. Uh, I will say, off the bat, this is one of my favorite knives this year. If I really shake it back and forth, I can get a little bit of play, but I'm really trying. The action is really good. I put a little bit of uh, KPL Heavy on the detent ball that um, made it drop a little bit better, but it was really good already. Centering's pretty much dead nuts. It might be slightly over to the clip side. I've been seeing that a lot lately with Riot, Bass Tech, pretty much everybody. Uh, but detent money like everything's really good on this knife off the bat so if anything goes wrong it is on me let's see if we can break this loctite without too much trouble looks like we're going to need our finger bit so the finger bit is nice for spinning pivots because you can lock it into place like this and then now i can use my other driver to loosen the pivot looks like we got some loctite in there but nothing crazy and we'll get this bad boy out. I like to disassemble from this side if possible. So there you go. No D-shape or anything. And uh, here is our pivot screw. I'm going to go ahead and clean that right away because I keep forgetting about it. I got some spray isopropyl on a KPL chamois. And um, all this stuff is linked down below in my disassembly tools. I try to make it easy for you to get to. Um, here you can see some schmutz that's from the Loctite, but it's not a lot. Ooh. The uh, Voodoo that I disassembled uh, uh, earlier today, I didn't film it. Um, that one had a lot of Loctite in there. Had a little bit of an issue with the scale on that one. Um, it wasn't. It was like warped or something was going on, but uh, Noel Nyes is taking care of it. So not worried about it. Clean that out. All right, so now, as you can tell, we're kind of, we have a hidden clip screw situation. We're probably going to have to go in from the other side and take these off, is my guess, so we can get that clip off. Try to be careful here. This is tight. So let's see if I can do it without, I did not grab a pry bar. I should have because it seems to always be a thing with um, knives that have this kind of setup. I need to pry them apart, but we'll see. So these are the same size, right? Oops. Yeah, so I'm just gonna rest that there. And now you can see there's another screw under here. And the way um, Riot likes to do it is make that a T6 for some reason. Um, they tell customers that they can't go any bigger than that on these screws, so. Go ahead and unscrew this guy. Got a nice long screw there. Set that aside. Now the knife should come apart, is my guess. Hopefully, like this. I'm gonna try to get it off the pivot. And yep, there we go. There's a little pin here. And uh, there we go. So I'm just gonna check while I have this T6 out, make sure we're tight. Yep, tooling's really good there. Um, we have this pin holding the backspacer in. Everything looks good. 
Uh, we are rocking the five mil bearings that I suspected. You can drop those spinning barrels, so nothing we really need to mess with here. I'm just going to wipe it down, and then I'm going to try to pull that washer off and flip it over. Let's see. Lighting's not too good, but it looks easy enough for us there to flip it over. Grab this one. Flip that one over. Make sure it doesn't fall out. Nope, not falling out. This backspacer is shifting around a little bit. Okay. We got that knocked out. Uh, we got 5 mil 1 16th. I can tell you right away. 1 16th. Boom, right there. And 5 mil on the pivot. Boom, right there. So I have the right bearings already here, ready to go. I just need to clean the blade here. Get to the alcohol. So we have an internal stop pin. Interesting. Don't see Riyadh do that a ton, actually. Clean these uh, areas. And then I really want to clean the lock face and the lock bar because I wasn't getting stick, but I could tell that oil was transferring from the detent ball. And I just want to make sure that I don't have that issue. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the detent ball track, but um, just a little bit. And then I put a whole shit ton in there. So we're going to sop all that up. Use a KPL little microfiber Q-tip. Clean that up. Yikes. I'll just put a little bit down the track there. Then I don't want to get it everywhere, so I'm just trying to be careful. There we go. All right, so now we're going to take a little bit of KPL Original. Come, come, original. Sing that every time, don't I? Just going to rub, rub-a-dub-dub -dub the bearing. I was not going to take this knife apart because it literally was great. Um, I just can't help myself. So uh, I would say if you get this knife and you're like me and you get it and you think it's perfect, just leave it alone. It really had no reason to put skiffs in it. It didn't feel off in any way, really. Maybe that centering just slightly off made me question it. Um, but I would just leave it alone if I was you. But I'm not you. I'm an idiot. So that's how it goes. All right, let's see if we can't flip this guy on. thing I love about a spinning barrel situation is that I don't have to worry about how the D shape is set and all this stuff. I can just put the uh, scale on and um, move to the next phase. It's just a little easier, in my opinion, than than a uh, let's just use this than a D shape pivot. A captive pivot's good too, though. I'm probably going to regret this. Just don't feel like swapping that pivot out just yet. Okay, this should be good. I'm going to try to shut this carefully. Just need to get this screw in, and then we're good. There we go. T6 Aruni. It is dark as shit right now, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Hoping to have the house taken care of in the next couple of days, and then I'm back to normal. I can get the lights out. We're not actually moving for like a month, but we're trying to sell our house, so everything's kind of um, put away. Trying to be gentle here. Firm, but gentle, my friends. Okay, so, looks like we're off center. Um, that's probably gonna be on me, because I need to tighten this pivot. I hope, yep. Okay, what is that? No tabs. Okay, so centering is basically kind of how it was, actually a little worse. So 
that might be why it had a little bit of play because they were getting that sorted out. Loosen up a little bit on it. What is that? Huh. Detent feels great. So there we have that little bit of play and we have the basically the same action we had there on the stock bearings, but centering might be, uh, it's about the same, right? Unfortunately, in this day and age, it seems like we just can't have perfectly centered with good action and uh, everything. Like, it's just not possible anymore. I don't know why. Even with Riot, I mean, this is the premier knife company. And, um, you know, just can't do it, apparently. I'm going to try to push it over and see. This never works, but, you know. That's not bad, but I bet you there's play. No play. Oop. That's pretty good, actually, and I just pushed it. And it yeah, there's no play there. What was that sound? It's a little tight. But I think this would break in. If I loosen it a touch, what happens? Does our centering... Oh, almost center. Oh, okay. And not... Barely a hint. Okay. This is going to be hard because you know me. I want to glue it. So we're going to see if we can repeat this. Basically, our action there was to push to the side. Tighten it to about there. That's centered. It's going to be play now. Now it's tight, still centered. Oops. Barely any play. Okay, so let me just check because it might have just been something was off and when I took the pivot out or pushed it, it fixed it. So let's just see if, without pushing on the blade, what happens when I tighten this down. Yeah, it's pretty much centered. So, I think it just was, um, something was off and now it's good. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't change in the next 30 seconds while I clean this off and glue it. Now, it did seem like I was going a little too tight. So this is going to be an interesting game. Although, usually it breaks in as the washers break in, so I think I might just let it go. Okay. Definitely got enough glue in there. Centering's good. I would say that's good as well. Centering looks damn close. Detent feels good. No play. And we get a swing down. I don't know what else I could ask for on this. So I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, Loctite, aka glue. I'm not going to mess with it for a few minutes. Uh, maybe like 20 minutes. And then I'm going to flick the ever-loving shit out of it because I love this knife. Um, I am truly uh, blown away by this knife. I think it's a fabulous design.
from Matt over at Berg Blades. I think it's underrated. Haven't heard a ton of buzz about it. Um, and I think you guys should check it out if you are interested in the least. Um, I love the front flipper design. It works extremely well. And the hole is great. The detent's great. I've now handled a prototype and uh, this example. Both were fantastic. So I love the finish on the bead blasting. I know you can't see too well with this shitty lighting. I'm sorry. Um, the carbon fiber is really nice. I like that he kind of did uh, basic carbon fiber instead of um, fat carbons. Because we've been doing a lot of fat carbon lately. And it's kind of nice to see something a little bit different, you know. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's two today. We did the uh, Sweeney. And we did, uh, ironically, this is the Tuya Mutt. And he actually just came out with a mutt as well. Um, but yeah, so I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Links for everything is down below. And uh, I will catch you later.